Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to add an SVG or a scalable vector graphic to any Squarespace website. I am using the latest version of Squarespace in this demo, but the steps are exactly the same no matter what version you're using. So if you're on an older website, like something built on version seven, this tutorial will still work for you. Let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace and get started. So here we are in Squarespace and I am using version 7.1, but this is exactly the same process you'll take if you're adding an SVG to an older site like version seven, still the same steps. So just hop into edit mode and here's what we're gonna do. We're going to open the SVG file in Chrome. We're gonna copy the HTML. We're gonna add a code block and we're gonna use HTML to resize it. And then I'll show you how to center it and how to change the color. So how do I open an SVG file in Chrome in my web browser here? Well, we're gonna go ahead and hop on over to fonts.google.com forward slash icons because I can download an SVG icon of any of these. It's a great resource. They have all kinds of icons in here. Let's go ahead and start with the photo. I think this will be a great one. Over here on the right-hand side, I can download the SVG file. So I'm gonna click on that. Now I'm gonna drag this and drop it right here into a new window in Chrome. This part is super important. I'm gonna right click and select inspect. I'm using a PC, but you can do this on a Mac as well. And now that I've inspected it, I wanna click on sources, open up this arrow and click on the file right here. This is how I'm gonna access the entire line of code for that SVG icon. I'll show you how I did that one last time. I've opened up the file in my browser. You can see here it's in my downloads folder. I right clicked and selected inspect. I hopped into sources. This was closed, so I clicked this right here, and then I clicked on the file itself, and this gives me the code that I need. So I'm gonna highlight this whole thing. I'm gonna copy this whole thing on my keyboard. We're gonna hop back into Squarespace, and let's add a code block. Again, I'm using Fluid Engine in 7.1, but this will work in any version. Just add a code block, click Edit, and then paste the code right here. Now, this is great. It uploaded our icon, but we've got more to do. I want to change its size and then we'll center it and change the color as well. So I'm gonna hit a new line here because this part we're going to replace. Squarespace is a responsive site editor, so I wanna make sure that I'm using responsive values here. Instead of 48, I'm actually going to say, I want this to be gigantic, so I'm gonna say 20 VW. And over here, I'll say 20 VW. So we replaced 48 pixels with 20 view width, but it looks like it's the same size. We also need to add one more line of code. This is listed in the description below. We're going to say view box with a capital B equals quotation marks 0, 0, 50, 50, and then close that quotation and add your right caret. There we go. Now our icon is larger. And let's go ahead and change this to 25 and 25. I just want you to see how it grows when I change the view width or the actual height and width here. 25 VW means 25% of the view width. Now clicking out of this, let's go ahead and take a look at mobile view because I want you to see this now takes up 25% of the mobile screen. On desktop, takes up 25% of the desktop. That's why I use that responsive value. You can use a pixel width if you'd like. Instead of 25, maybe say 48 PX or 90 PX, whatever you're comfortable with. It also doesn't have to be so big. You can make it 5 VW completely customizable with the height and width. I prefer using VW so it stays responsive and resizes by device. The important part is adding this view box right here and I've added that code in the description below. Now let's say we want to center it or change its color. We've got some options there. Starting with centering it, we can use HTML to center the whole thing. Enter a new line at the very beginning and type in the word center between angled brackets. It's going to add the end of that code as well. So I'm going to remove that and place that at the very end of everything, scrolling all the way over here after it says forward slash SVG, then I can close it. That's going to center this block. So let's say we stretch this content block all the way to the right hand side. It'll still stay in the center. Do you see that? That's how we've centered that block using a little bit of code. All right, let's also change its color. This one's kind of interesting. We need to add this before it says path D equals. We're going to add path fill equals. And here you can type in a web safe color name if you'd like to. I typed in the word pink. You can also use a hex color code. Let's use my favorite shade of teal here, 50BDB8. There we go. 
or maybe just a dark gray. I'll enter in the hex color code for a dark gray. This is where you add the actual code for the color between quotation marks, again, a web safe color name or your own color. And one last time, I just want to show you, I placed this right before path D equals. That's the code that we copied from the SVG file we opened in Chrome, placed it at the very beginning there. And when you're all done, just make sure you select save in your website and you'll be good to go. And there you have it, a super simple way to add any SVG to your Squarespace website. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. And if you're brand new to learning about custom code, I have so much to teach you. Check out my free training available at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thank you so much for watching this video and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.